Breaking news tonight on the terrorist attack in Paris. The first arrest. French officials reporting that an 18-year-old man has surrendered. An intense manhunt is still underway tonight for two brothers wanted in the deadly attack at the offices of a newspaper. Jim Smith is following these breaking developments. He joins us live now in our satellite center. Jim. Lisa, tonight there's intense reaction to this attack, both on the streets of Boston and in Paris itself. The victims are being remembered, and police are going all out to make arrests. On the streets of Paris, a combination of defiant anger and deep grief. Flowers left on a sidewalk in memory of 12 people brutally murdered. The day began with gunfire. Masked gunmen invading the headquarters of the satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo, killing 10 journalists and two police officers, then heading for a getaway car, shouting, this is to avenge the Prophet Mohammed. By nightfall, a massive manhunt. Police throughout France still looking for two suspects, brothers Saeed and Sharif Kawashi, French nationals of Algerian descent. The motive? Believed to be anger over the newspaper's provocative cartoons, taking aim at Islamic extremism. France's president calls the attack barbarism. The U.S. is promising support. But we stand with you in solidarity and in commitment both to the cause of confronting extremism uh, and in the cause which the extremists fear so much, freedom. And in Boston, there was more support. A dramatic, silent vigil in front of the French consulate. People united in grief and shock. We are deeply moved and thankful for, for all the people who express their solidarity uh, for the French people, but also more generally for, for our freedoms to all. And once again, repeating the latest developments tonight, there are reports that the youngest suspect, he's only 18 years old, has surrendered to police. And Thursday will be a national day of mourning in France. Live in the Satellite Center, Jim Smith, WBZ News.